day two with Tam Safaris. We finished up our Cape Buffalo hunt a little early, so the boys are going to go out and see if they can't find a few hartebeest. Three hearted beasts before lunch. The boys at Tam Safari have got it figured out. After lunch, we gather up our gear, we jump in the truck. It's just starting to rain, and we're going to see if we can't get Ron a white spring buck before the weather sets in. In the rain, borrowed gun, 400 yards. Ron takes a shot at the spring buck. It's a whack. I think he's a Jedi. Congratulations on a stunning old white spring buck ram. Man, we are checking critters off the list. It is my turn to shoot. My generous host gave me the opportunity to shoot a couple of call animals. So Peter, Tam, and I sneak up to the top of this ridge. We're going to thin out a few spring bucks. Watch close. That felt good, but you know what felt even better? Is when Peter said, hey, see that other one standing there? Shoot him too. And I believe at the time, I can't remember exactly, I think I said, okie dokie artichokey. We just missed it on film. Called the Daily Double. Mm -hmm. it's Ryan Daily Double. Some good shooting there, Tex. Man, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that guy got to oil that camera. Oh, no. He squirrels went off. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Bless Buck. As our weather continues to get worse, it just makes Ron a way better shot. Check this out. Not one, but two spring bucks died in the rain at over 400 yards at his hand. Well done, brother. How about one more? Now, let me explain what you just watched. All you hunters, fist bump. You are to get it. This message is designed for those who don't get it. There is a tremendous abundance of these animals in these areas. 
So there is protocol to go through and call a certain number of animals. And they call the animals that are in poor condition or poor horn genetics. And what that does is it slims the numbers so that that next generation of offspring has enough feed and forage and habitat in order to survive. This is all part of a process. And for somebody like me, it is incredibly enjoyable. Yes, I said enjoyable. It is okay to love what you do. And an animal of any size is a trophy to me, especially when it's a new experience. This was such a great day. I think I'll go ahead and show you one more hunt. Just when I thought early morning Bob had reached the end of his stint, he makes it happen again. Peter's got a great mountain reed buck bedded. Watch close, it happens quick. Peter's got a gland behind their ear there. Yeah, same gland. Like mountain reed buck, occasionally okay, they'll just they'll hold up and they think yeah. they're hidden and a lot of times they are, you know. Mm. A lot of times you drive by or walk by, you don't even know they're there. But um, in his case, yeah, we, we knew they were there, we knew where they were, so they allowed us to get onto it. Look alive, y'all. Bob just bought me some trigger time on the coolest animal in South Africa. In all seriousness, I get as fired up as anybody about hunting critters, but I take what I do and what we do very seriously. And this hunt right here had its ups and downs for me, meaning it was emotional and it was exciting all in the same breath. He, he was a bigger bull than any of the others, so he'd have been more dominant. The one laying yeah, when, down is probably... When he came walking up to him, you could see the other one. Uh, uh, yeah, so, yeah. You know, I'll, I'll the pretty one as I've ever seen right there. Yeah. 
Thank you. Well done. <laughs> that is awesome. One of my favorite animals in Africa. My sincere gratitude to Bob, my host, and Tam Safaris. This was an incredible experience, and I can't thank you enough. Thanks again for watching.